We then seek to rival the Pope's political control over Blessed Jerusalem, the city of the great king, unquote, quote, unquote, which includes the removal of the Pope's CFR-led Masonic Sunni Islamic pro-Nazi Arab leaders, as well as his CFR-led pro-Nazi socialist communist Masonic Jewish labor Zionists, both sides covertly working together in dividing the Lord's land given to Jacob and his physical racial descendants in Genesis 28, verses 12 through 15. Benjamin Netanyahu is a traitor to the Hebrew, Jewish, Israelitish people seeking to have a nation, a nation of Israel. For these modern-day Freemasonic, quote-unquote, assassins and Templars, rule Rome's revived, quote, Latin kingdom of Jerusalem, unquote, i.e. Israel, to the benefit of the white pope overseen by the black pope and to the detriment of the Hebrews, the obvious detriment of the Hebrews living therein. Lastly, this broadcast will seek to expose the power of Satan's anti-Reformation Bible, counter-Reformation, pro-cartel capitalist, pro-socialist communist, pro-socialist fascist, military company of Jesus, being in fact the revived Knights Templars, truly the devil's military and commercial company of the slain Osiris, risen to be the invincible Horus of Egyptian Freemasonic mystery religion, the actual destiny of the final Pope of Rome to be slain and rise from the dead, then to be the invincible Antichrist man-beast to rule all nations for 42 months as, quote-unquote, the king of Babylon. For the orders demon-possessed, Father General, quote-unquote, the god of his surname, quote, company of the perfect, unquote, now rules every government on earth via the white pope's, quote, sovereign state of Vatican City, unquote, and its papal knighthoods on the advice of his secret 10-man Jesuit council, representing Rome's 10 most powerful papal bloodline families, as well as being advised by his 10 Jesuit assistants, they controlling high-level, illuminized, Satan-worshipping Freemasons, ruling the craft worldwide. His designs and plots will be elucidated with historic, irrefutable citations spanning over 300 years. All peoples of whatever race or nation will benefit if the biblical principles espoused on this broadcast here at 24-7 World Radio are applied to themselves in accordance with the Word of God, the AV 1611 Reformation English Bible. And thank you for tuning in today. Well, I'm continuing on... Uh, my broadcast, this series of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of this, what, third week in November. And, and, and it started on the 18th, today is the 20th, the last will be the 22nd. And one of the purposes for these, this series <clears throat> is to show you that I am not anti-Jew. And anybody that tells you that is a liar. And that goes for Morris D. He's that Pope serving Jew at the Southern Poverty Law Center. And there ain't nothing poverty stricken about his organization. As he is in the millions of dollars and much of that coming from the Pope Rome. Okay. What the people that run this country want is they do not want anybody to tell you the truth about the Hebrew Jewish Israelitish people. <clears throat> as well as the government in Israel that is against them. Now, I was a supporter of Friends of Israel for years. The Friends of Israel back the Hebrew Jewish Israelitish people's right to the land, and many of the leaders are born again Jews. They know the Lord. They're completed Jews. They understand Yeshua HaMashiach is their Messiah, as prophesied in the scriptures from Moses to, to Malachi. But they support the government of Israel, and that's their great fallacy. That's their great setback. The friends of Israel, as well as other Christian Zionists, need to repent of their sin of supporting the government of Israel, which is always to the detriment of the Hebrew Jewish Israelites living in that land. I read an article just yesterday about Benjamin Netanyahu uh, uh, suppressing evidence <clears throat> that would have uh, benefited the Hebrew Jewish Israelite people in Israel. Because you see, Benjamin Netanyahu is a Jewish Freemason, a 33rd degree Jewish Freemason, busy serving the Pope of Rome like his buddy, Shimon Perez, who's also a knight of the British Empire. So we make this dichotomy here. We support the racial Jews' right to their land, and the racial Jews know who they are. I mean, they suffered for the last 2,000 years because they were racial Jews. They didn't suffer because of their religion. They suffered because of their race primarily, even though they were persecuted for their religion too. For their Babylonian religion, for the Talmudic religion, has nothing to do with the Mosaic law. And as one of my Jewish brethren in Christ told me, he said, Eric, he said, with the destruction of the temple in 70 AD, he said, that, well, that ended Judaism. 
that ended biblical Bible-based Mosaic Judaism. And in its place arose Talmudic Judaism, which has nothing to do with the Mosaic Law. And the Talmudic Jews consider the Talmud on an equal level with the Mosaic Law. They hold their tradition on an equal level with that. And that is a sign of a cult. It's like Romanism holds their tradition and their canon law on an equal level with the scriptures, the scriptures that they call Jerome's Latin Vulgate, which are not the scriptures. That's why we have absolutely nothing in common with Romanism, if you are a Christian, if you are truly born again. Romanism has nothing to do with the true faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the enemy of the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ and all of us who profess him. They've been our greatest mass murderers, not the Jews, not the Muslims, but Romanists have been our greatest mass murderers. And it's all been done pursuant to canon law, brainwash the Roman Catholic to hate certain designated targeted peoples, be they Protestants or Jews or even Muslims, and then conduct crusades to wipe them out or inquisitions to kill them all. And Bible-believing Christians were killed right along with Muslims and Jews in the holy office of the Inquisition in Spain for 600 years. So as we get back to our topic, I want to continue to vindicate that the Jews are the Hebrews, are the Israelites. Now, this is attacked by a host of people today, uh, always talking about the Khazars, the Khazars. The, the Jews that we see today, they're nothing but Khazars. This is a Jesuit lie concocted in Austria in the early 20th century. Now, maybe I should deal with Kazaria one of these days, because you see, Kazaria was a kind of a crossroads nation uh, that was uh, around north of the Black Sea, that general area. It was south of Russia. It was north of the Muslim nations. And the king of Kazaria uh, decided that he would adopt the Jewish religion rather than Islam or orthodoxy, or actually... Uh, um, Orthodoxy begins in 1054, and this is before 1054. This is like in the ninth century. But he decides not to embrace the Christian religion of Russia, which at the time really was beholden to Rome. And so he became a Jew for political purposes. And the Khazarians, they did not become Jews. Only the political leaders did to play off the Muslims against the quote-unquote Christians of Russia. And there was very little interracial marriage going on in Kazaria. And when Kazaria fell, the Jews had to flee west. And they fled west into western Russia and eastern Europe and ultimately were, were, were uh, corralled by Catherine the Great in the 18th century. That corralling became, uh, was uh, designed by Catherine the Great, Catherine the Second the great whore, according to her son. And she was under the influence of the Jesuits, and this is when the Jesuits began to create what was called the Pale of Settlement. The Pale of Settlement. And this Pale of Settlement was a, was a massive concentration of Hebrew-Jewish Israelites in what we would know today as Poland, Hungary, oh, Ukraine area. Eastern Russia, or Western Russia, pardon me, this was the Pale of Settlement, because the Jesuits had a design that they would corral all the Jews of Russia, ultimately, and Europe into this area so that they could annihilate the Jews of the Pale of Settlement. And this came to pass with Jesuit coadjutors Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin in the 20th century. Their whole purpose was to annihilate the pale of settlement, and they did. And you know who helped them? Dirty Franklin Delano Roosevelt, dirty uh, Winston Churchill, the Anglo-American white power structure helped facilitate the rise of Hitler and Stalin to power. So those two crusaders 
could mass murder the Jews of the Pale of Settlement, as well as mass murder the Orthodox Russian men, as well as mass murder the Lutheran Prussian men, as well as mass murder uh, the, the, uh, the uh, Reformed peoples of Europe and Britain. It was one huge crusade of Rome orchestrating all the leaders of the Allied and Axis powers together for the annihilation of designated heretic and liberal targeted populations. And that includes the Japanese because the Japanese had expelled the Jesuits for over 200 years. So they get to pay with getting their country firebombed and ultimately have two atomic devices detonated on the ground. So they could drive the Japanese people to the knees of the Jesuits ruling the de facto military government of the United States of America as of March 9th, 1933. You see this? So I just want to begin now with vindicating the fact that the Hebrew Jewish Israelites are all the same people. There have been, there have been uh, proselytes. And these are Gentiles, non-racial Jews who adopt the Judaistic religion of today and back then in Christ's day. But the Jews, the Hebrew Jewish Israelites in general are a specific race of people and they are composed of the 12 tribes or in fact the 13 tribes of Israel. Remembering that the tribe of Joseph was split into Ephraim and Manasseh. So hence you do have 13 tribes. Now let's go to Jeremiah chapter 34, verses 8 and 9. Jeremiah 34, verses 8 and 9. 